could this be the end of Bank of America? I, I'm just telling you, it, 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 this PMI uh, racketeering charge against Bank of America is ridiculous. Now, if they lose this, you can get them for other things they have been doing, like putting suspected fraud on check system reports so you can never open an account in, like, five years in any branch or any any bank in the United States of America. They do this as racketeering in fear. They do this to put a strong boot on your throat. And if this case with the PMI policies fee comes in racketeering, and they get the racketeering charge, you have a ample, ample enough things to say about racketeering, and they've been charged with racketeering. This is racketeering, ladies and gentlemen, at its finest. Bank of America, if they lose this case, this, this, this uh, article is in uh, May 29th, 2020. I just came across it today. Ladies and gentlemen, if they get booted, if they get hit with that racketeering charge, people are going to go after them for other things because they were actually convicted and lost the case of racketeering. And this could show demise to Bank of America. This could permanently cripple the company. This racketeering is a real crime and it calls and it has real punishments on that crime. And if Bank of America loses this, you can kiss that bank goodbye because people are going to relish the situation. They're going to relish about now we can see what else they're racketeering on. And then they lost that first case and it's going to be a downward spiral into the abyss that once was called Bank of America. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, Godspeed the right.